Another question I had was from Marvin, and he was saying um, how to create a project showing school pictures, like from kindergarten to grade 12, and then one major picture in the center. He was thinking of the vignette effect, and I think that's a wonderful effect. However, I find that the uh, vignette effect in PaintShop, when you go under effects, a photo effect, and you go with the vignette, that will um, affect the image itself and not per photo. So what you can do is actually create a mask. So let's just open a large image. I'm going to do 3600 by 3600 because just that's the standard size for a scrapbook page. I'm going to flood fill this. Let's see, just a color so we don't have that checkerboard so you will want to have maybe uh, one two three four on top one two three four at the bottom and then two and two so for that you can divide your project in 16 and I'm going to use here the grid I kind of discovered that I like the grid and I'll double click in the ruler in my grid. I'm going to do here uh, 900 by 900 because I know that it's by 3600 divided by 4. And here I have 16 boxes. That will give me a, an idea of the size. And at this point, I'm going to make a selection. And you can make... In this case, it's going to be round, probably. Uh, you can make it square. It's really up to you. But let's make it circle. And for the selection, it always starts in the middle. So this is going to be the circle. I will add a new raster layer. And make it black. And I deselect. What I would like to do is make a blur around. Like he was talking about the vignette effect. You can actually create a similar effect now by adjusting, adding blur, Gaussian blur, and you adjust size how much you want. Let's go to 30. Okay. So this will be a, the spot where I can put the photo. But the ideal way would be to turn it into a mask. So uh, you can do that. I'll, I guess I'll have to have, have a photo. This might not be the best photo, but I'll just need to have. Oh no, actually, I'll just, I'll just place a, a white rectangle or, yeah, I'll go with my rectangle and I'll flood fill that with white. Oops, I thought I added a new raster layer. So I will assume that this is supposed to be my photo. But my photo, what I would like to, to have it in that shape. So this is where you can do the long way or the short way. You can create a mask. So I can just here go to layers, new mask layer. I can do show all. And that will also go to one question that Susan had. I think about uh, masks. I will go to my shape. I will select all, control A, float, control F, and I'll go down. I'll move it down here and defloat, control shift F. So you can see now that I have. Well, the reverse of a mask. I can at this point deselect and 
I want to actually block everything that is white and show through the black. So I can go to image, negative image, and now I will have the, the mask that is in the right place. And I can hide this, and this would be my photo. So if I was to use a photo, let's say I use this photo, I just place it below my mask, paste as a new layer. You can see it's here. Using my pick tool, I will move it. It will show. I can resize it, align it, whatever. And then I can repeat the same process by moving my shape now to the next spot. Repeat the same thing and repeat here. So I can have photos all around. And in the end, I can take my shape and make it in the center and repeat. And I can have, let's say, the graduation picture in the center. So that's one way to get that feathered effect on the edge if you want without using the actual vignette effect here, which will actually use the effect or apply the effect on the whole image so that is one way to do it and you can do that that if you have 16 boxes like that you will end up with uh, 12 around but if you want to have for example kindergarten to uh, grade 12 but you're stuck because you need actually 13 you might need to have a different number uh, you can have, let's say, maybe uh, uh, five, and at the bottom you can have four. You can just move them, move the the boxes and arrange them differently or have uh, just one on one side, two on the other side, however you want. It's, you really are the creator. You can have... Uh, four and five and you can still center them so if you like the look of being centered that would be one way or you can have five or well, actually four and then one corner could be for I don't know a school logo a year or, or something else okay I don't know why I see that the, the diamond offer is launched it was supposed to be cancel and I don't have a clue why it's there so don't take it you're all diamond members anyway so it doesn't matter so I hope this helps for uh, Marvin so Marvin I know you were there does that answer your question hey there I hope you found this information helpful if you're curious to dive deeper and explore more about paint shop pro We've got a wealth of resources waiting for you in our membership area. There, you'll find in-depth classes, workshops, Q&A sessions, and much more to help you enhance your PaintShop Pro and digital scrapbooking skills. Feel free to check it out. The link is in the video description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the campus.